Aloha, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a cauliflower fried rice. It is so yummy, but a great way to save on eat, overeating extra carb. So what you need is six ingredients. I have cauliflower, about two cups, one egg, olive oil, pepper salt, and some green onions. Today I have fresh green onions, but if you don't have any, it's always good to um, save up some of your extra green onion that you don't use, freeze it, and then just take it from the freezer. So you always have. What we're gonna do is I have a, ha a pan that's all heat up. I'm gonna tilt this down so you can see. I have a pan that's all heat up. I'm gonna put some olive oil. And don't worry about too much. You wanna cover the pan. So I put it about three tablespoons of olive oil or so. I'm gonna put the cauliflower and I'm just gonna cook the cauliflower until it's slightly soft so just like fried rice and that takes a little while and the more fine you chop the cauliflower, the faster it's gonna cook. And I'm just gonna move it around. Cauliflower has a lot of um, nutrients, high density, quality, fiber. Okay. So don't worry about the oil. I know back in the um, 90s and 2000s, we still worry about the low fat, low fat, but that has made the typical American a lot more fatter because we, we, we went with foods that's low fat and that's a lot of carb and sugar that we were eating. Fat actually is very important. It keeps you satisfied so we don't overeat. But the good carb, so olive oil is extremely good for you. So I'm just move, constantly moving this around until it's slightly cooked. So about, I'm almost halfway there. I can see the vegetables cooking, softening up. So I'm just constantly moving it around, trying to get a, everything even out. And you can put some ginger or garlic in there if you want. I just like it plain. So all I got is olive oil and my cauliflower in here. Now, once this is cooked, pretty cooked, about 75% done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down the, the, the stove a little bit, about half. Then I'm gonna crack my egg in here. Then I'm gonna mix this egg as fast as I can and try to cover the cauliflower with the eggs and mix it real well so eggs are all stick to the cauliflower and not stuck to the pan. So that's why I turned down the heat about 50% so you don't burn the egg and it gets all stuck in the pan. So just enough where it gets stuck on the cauliflower and off of the pan and because the pan is quite oily, it comes off pretty easily as you go, as you scrape the pan. And then now I'm gonna turn off the, the heat completely and use the remainder part of the heat to cook the eggs. And I'm gonna keep mixing. You can see I'm gonna keep mixing. Then I'm gonna add my green onion your preference, how much you like. And I'm gonna mix and cook that green onion just a little bit. Then I'm gonna finish off with pepper and salt. And you can even add that at your table. If you have different people eating your fried rice, they might have different preference. So you can leave it plain and have them add the pepper and salt at, at their table. 
So this could be a great single dish by itself or you can eat it with something else as a side dish. And I'm just going to mix this up. And this is your cauliflower fried rice.